I am so happy to finally get an opportunity to review this published research with you today. Now, the research was originally published on September 10th, 2020. However, one critical piece of information was missing from most of the published press releases, and it also was not mentioned in the abstract itself, and that was the wavelength of green light in order to that was utilized in order to reduce the intensity and the frequency of the migraines, and we finally got a hold of that information this afternoon. So without further ado, let us proceed right into the research as follows. Green light therapy shown to reduce migraine frequency and intensity. A new study found that green light therapy resulted in about a 60% reduction, 60% reduction in pain intensity of the headache phase and the number of days per month experienced migraine headaches, which of course, statistically, as you see, between 39 million people in the United States and a billion people worldwide. That's why this research was so vital to cover and bring to your attention, but to proceed as follows. The initial clinical study included 29 people, all of whom experienced episodic or chronic migraine and failed multiple traditional therapies such as oral medications and Botox injections. Overall, green light exposure reduced the number of headache days per month by an average of about 60%. A majority of study participants, 86% of episodic migraine patients and 63% of chronic migraine patients reported a more than 50% reduction in headache days per month. Episodic migraine is characterized by up to 14 headache days per month, while chronic migraine is 15 or more days per month. Now I have to give this new research source that we're gonna to utilize today, mid news today, kudos, because of all the articles published on this particular study, all they said was green light. In med news today, they actually revealed the wavelength that was used, which is vital, especially in order to basically duplicate or replicate, I should say, similar results. But to proceed as follows. Initially, for 10 weeks, the participants spent one to two hours daily at a home in an otherwise dark room, lit by a white LED emitting strip. Now keep in mind, the individuals are not looking into the strip. It is basically like a white light, whether it just be like light, room light, ambient light, but to proceed as follows. The white lighting serving as the control condition. A washout period of two weeks without any light treatment followed, meaning they did nothing. And finally, for a further 10 weeks, all 29 individuals spent one to two hours daily with an LED strip emitting green light with a wavelength of about 525 nanometers and the same brightness as the white light. Now keep in mind, this was a single-sided study in reference to basically the participants did not know whether it was gonna be the white light that helped or the green light. So they had, didn't know in reference to the controls. But the green light was wow, incredible to proceed. Significant improvements. Overall, the green light treatment was associated with a significant decrease in the frequency of headaches from an average of 18.4 days per month before the treatment to 7.4 days per month afterward, a reduction of about 60%. Among the episodic migraine, the number of headache days per month declined from an average of 7.9 to 2.4. In the group with chronic migraine, the average figure fell from 22.3 to 9.4 days per month. What an incredible, incredible relief for individuals suffering from something in which the medications or other tr particular treatments failed. In this case, a simple, very inexpensive green light amin diode at about 525 nanometer wavelength did the trick for many of them and only after 10 weeks, but to proceed. After green light treatment, there were also improvements in sleep quality and the ability to perform chores, exercises, and work, obviously. Any improvements after treatment uh, with white light were small. None of the participants were reported any adverse effects of the light treatment. And now to conclude with a researcher statement. Quote, these are great findings, but this is where the story begins. As a scientist, I'm quoting, 
I am really interested in how this works because if I understand the mechanism, then I can utilize it for other conditions. I can utilize it or so I can use it as a tool to manipulate the biological systems to achieve as much as we can. That is just, oops, sorry. That is just fascinating. So think about it. In the past few months, we've shown that 222 nanometer wavelength in the blue spectrum uh, was effective at neutralizing SARS-CoV-2 in public spaces, rapidly. We showed that 670 nanometer light in the red light spectrum was shown to improve vision in older individuals where vision has been compromised. Now, at 525 nanometer wavelength, green light has shown to bring incredible relief in the reduction in intensity and the frequency of migraine headache sufferers. That is just some of the stuff that's been released within the past few months, which is just astounding incredible, and just needs to be brought to your attention. Again, Ralph Turchiano signing off once again. Hope you find this information in use. The DOI citation, of course, is always is listed. It'll bring you to the abstract, but since the abstract does not mention the, the uh, nanometer light uh, wavelength, I am gonna also link to MedNews today so you can see the original article there so you can review it on your, on your own, uh, should you see fit. Again, gratitude, thank you. Ralph signing off once again. I look forward to seeing you all next seven days. Catch you then. Bye.